What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. I apologize for being away for the past two days this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I was really busy. One day was packing, the other day was traveling, and then yesterday I got home late. So it's just been, you know, a bunch of moving parts and I was not able to get videos out. And, you know, I guess it wasn't too bad. We didn't see crazy movement, but I definitely missed out on some pretty large runs that we've seen taking place across most of the major cryptocurrencies. Like honestly, we're doing extremely well for most of the major cryptocurrencies, which is super weird because as we're doing, you know, pumps to the upside here, the S&P 500 is dumping to the downside, which is a, a complete turn of events. Typically, there is some sort of correlation where the S&P pumps to the upside and so does cryptocurrency. And when the S&P 500 drops or dips to the downside, we usually see cryptocurrency do the same thing. Thing, but that has changed now and we're doing the polar opposite here xrp moving up we have ethereum moving up the bitcoin price is moving up last we left off on friday we basically said that the double bot double bottom is confirmed and that we should be heading to the upside here it's actually been quite a few times now that we've pretty much gauged movements to the upside here four days ago we had a bull flag confirmed seeing a correlation or a swing to the upside here that was expected you can see then we were saying possible double bottom forming here history repeating itself we were most likely going going to be seeing mar markets move up. And then you can see in yesterday or two days ago when we made the video, I think it was Friday here, you can see the double bottom actually happened and we were confirming a run to the upside here. And since then, since Friday, we've pretty much seen that movement to the upside here. That was the 19th. That was four days ago. I mean, it's been not too much movement over the weekend, but we are inevitably heading to the upside here. You can see with this double bottom right off the bat on XRP after this beautiful rising wedge broke down you can see we have the double bottom and here we are rallying to the upside retesting moving average we have ethereum doing a very similar thing sort of like a double bottom but we were talking about the fact that we needed confirmation outside of this some strong confirmation outside of this for us to be buying in so we'll talk about ethereum more in a second regardless we are pumping back to the upside which is exciting uh bitcoin as well is exploding to the upside we were able to capitalize off this run over the weekend here this is very simple very easy to do and hopefully you guys took advantage of it. I know some of you guys have by reading the comments that you guys have been able to take advantage of the runs to the upside and it's not over just yet. This run is still playing out here. However, we are becoming extremely overbought. So there is a good chance we are going to start to, you know, to correct back down just a little bit to the downside here. When it does happen, then we should most likely be seeing even higher movements to the upside. But this was by no means a surprise. And then we would be looking at the S&P 500, which is just doing a bunch of wacky stuff right now, falling to the downside, which nobody pretty much figured. At least I wasn't expecting. Or no, that's that's not true. I there was an opportunity or an, an option for us to obviously dump because we were pretty much trading dead center in the middle of this descending fractal here, and it was literally up for grabs as to whether we are dumping or pumping. And unfortunately, it chose a correction, which is fine. Honestly, I don't really mind seeing the S and P head lower because it does open up opportunities to grab up some you know some stocks pretty low. Uh, so we will be going over that in a little bit, but. With that being said, uh, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's episode. So guys, before we dive into the technical analysis, super quick, for those that don't know, BidFi is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. And they're offering a super cool a super cool reward right now where you can grab your $200 reward right now today with the link down in the description below. They're offering two different ways to get this. There's a sign up and KYC where you can get a $50 coupon and a $100 trading bonus. And then you can also activate a futures account for $50 as well. So this is very simple stuff. Literally just signing up, completing KYC and activating an account will gain you $200 in free cryptocurrency. So make sure to check that out. Link down in the description below ASAP to claim this. And if you've already signed up, that's okay too, because they're also offering a way to earn free crypto, which after you've done signing up, you can earn up to $2,888 right here by completing simple tasks that, you know, are new user tasks, advanced tasks, and exclusive tasks. Super simple, super easy. So make sure to go check that out down in the description below. The other reason why we like BitFi, BidFi so much is because they offer XRP to leverage trade and all the other cryptocurrencies to leverage trade, which makes it super easy. Literally clicking derivatives, USDT, 
clicking right here and typing XRP will literally open up the chart here, the trading view integrated chart. You can buy long, sell short. You can leverage trade, which you can see is right here. Here's your adjusting leverage here. You can leverage trade XRP. You can create take profits. You can create stop losses. Literally whatever you want to do, you can do. You can see right here. You can set the take profit and stop loss before opening the position and the TPSL will take effect after opening the position. You can also choose the last price or mark price to trigger the take profit and stop loss orders here, which is super cool. So make sure to check them out down in the description below. Soon they will be putting the tri the demo account on the desktop version. It's currently on the mobile, but that's coming soon. So just be patient for that. But I just wanted to give you guys the update. But moving forward into the technical analysis, you guys can see here, most of these cryptos are starting to head up. We're trading at about 55 on the Fear Greed Index. Not too bad. And up 2.3%. Everything is sliding up. Bitcoin is up 10.5% for the week. Ethereum, 6%. We talked about this before, and I said to you guys that I could add Solana to the uh, to the markets to start trading or at least paying attention to. So if you guys like Solana or are interested or are holding Solana, believe that it's a potential crypto to buy in, then let me know down in the comments below as I will start adding Solana to, uh, to watch on the technical indicators. I have no problem adding them in. So if that's something you guys want to see, no problem adding another cryptocurrency to watch here. XRP is up 7.5. BNB is up 3.5. Doge is up 8.5. Ton Coin is up 10. Polygon's up 17. Chainlink's up 35. Like most of the major currencies, the blue chip cryptos that are here to stay are doing incredibly well. So I'm very excited to see how they're moving and how they're doing here. Now, moving forward from cryptocurrency, the fact that crypto is down, I want to look at these other cryptocurrencies here. Or sorry, not that they're down. I'm thinking about the S&P. 500. But look at these cryptocurrencies. We've done incredibly well hit, hitting bottoms and starting to head up. You can see the higher low, higher high formation, or sorry, the higher high, higher low formation formula in XRP uh, called a rising wedge. We broke down from that, double bottomed, and are heading right back up to retest moving average, doing incredibly well here. I'm a very strong believer that we're going to be breaking through that very soon and heading to the upside. You can see pretty much what's happening here is we're back to retesting the moving average on the weekly charts here, trading at about 51 on the RSI tons of potential and tons of room to break through it. And if this week closes us, which we're doing incredibly well right now, we close above this resistance this week, there's a very good chance we're going to be heading all the way up, if not exploding even higher which is very exciting if you ask me. We've been doing incredibly well, and I think we're going to be doing that much better here. So keep your eyes peeled on this. As I'm a strong believer, we are going to be breaking through it and heading up higher. It's very simple. So for those that are waiting for a conservative buy-in, which this was an easy one too, once we confirmed that double bottom, that was an easy buy-in opportunity. But moving forward from that, seeing this right here, seeing us starting to retest a very strong resistance here, we have a price ceiling as well as these moving averages here. This is a very solid resistance. If we manage to break through this, we should be able to leverage to the upside and basically be pumping at that point to the upside here. And it goes beyond just XRP. These other cryptos like Ethereum and Bitcoin are also seeing very solid moves. We were in a lower high, lower low descending fractal here on Ethereum is only a matter of time before we reverse to the upside. You can look at all my other videos here, but you can see we did have a bit of uncertainty where there are times where we have dipped below and above major resistance. So that was something we had to kind of be patient for here. But as you guys can see, once we pretty much confirmed it, and you can see here, this was that, you know, bull trap where if you bought in you would have lost out but here we are seeing a major move this was a much more aggressive 100 an extremely aggressive move here and there's a chance it could immediately correct right back down but this was an opportunity to leverage to the upside here aggressive nonetheless what we're waiting for if we want to really buy in conservatively is we need to break and close the daily charts above the moving average once we do that that'd be that opportunity to buy in and long to the upside if it doesn't happen we're just going to have to be patient as we could see a short opportunity as well yet again like i've said before ethereum is on the back burner because it's very risky right now but it is a possible uh trade opportunity now moving forward to bitcoin these other cryptos this was an easy buy-in as well as we've said we've been in a higher low higher high movement here this typically does have a bearish reversal here but the second we confirm closure outside of this major resistance here and above this price ceiling that was an opportunity within itself to be buying in conservatively we closed that on the 20th which was about three days ago so maybe that was friday and then um we had saturday sunday monday yeah so friday after i made my video we started to see that confirmation closer i should have made a video saturday it is what it is but this confirmed the opportunity to buy in and long to the upside uh you know that we're in right now so obviously keeping that stop loss tight if not keeping that stop loss at our break even just in case we dip down and i think we will be dipping down soon as we are entering overbought so keep that you know you know in the back of your head granted friday and 
Saturday were, or Saturday and Sunday were also overbought. I don't think we're gonna be heading that much higher. I do think we need to dip down. Now, lastly, to wrap up today's video, the weird, crazy market of the S&P 500 is falling lower here. So if at any point we break uh, you know, or sorry, let me let me start this over. We have already broken through our major price floor and our red, uh, uh, sorry, our white uptrend right here. So the fact that we're in red falling, there's a good chance we're going to be retesting moving average if we're not already testing it because I think this is the weekly moving average here. The goal is we break out of this. You can see exactly what I'm referring to. Here's the moving average. So maybe if we get back down to this support here, we'll be retesting the top of this and hopefully bouncing off of it. That's the ideal goal. Very similar to what we've done in the past year. The goal is we don't break through it. The goal is we don't start sliding lower. A lot of people still believe that we're gonna be seeing a dump. It's very possible that we could see a dump back down, but the likelihood that that happens is slim. I don't think it's, it, you know, a double bottom is here, but I don't think that's what's gonna happen. We're seeing more of these higher low patterns here. We don't look bad right now because we haven't completed the next higher low. So a pull to here or a pull to here, or pulled it here is still in the cahoots. Like it is still in market for potentially like a continued higher low pattern. We just need to find the bottom. We find the bottom here, which I think is what's going to happen. We should be seeing a reversal off that and a pump even higher. So keep this in the back of your head as I do and am a strong believer that the S&P 500 is still in a bullish movement and still has bullish momentum. It just needs to find its bottom first. But with that being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.